Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Liliana. I am stitching again on my um, stamped cross stitch project, the owl, and I am still using the blue uh, number 978 cobalt blue. This is a beautiful color. Looking at my floss card holder, there is quite a bit of this color, a lot of it. And I'm just wondering if they gave me extra because it just seems like more floss than I'm going to need. But I could be wrong. Um, looking at the fabric and where I'm going to be stitching with this color just seems like um, a lot of thread that, uh, that I have on my holder there compared to what I might need. But, well... I may be wrong, and we'll see in the end if I will end up using all of it or not. But um, hopefully there's, um, we can all hope for having more than what we need rather than less and have to go out and buy some more. So hopefully that won't be the case. Either having enough is good or having more is good, but not having less. Than what you need and having to reorder some more anyway um, so I'm going to be um, using the sewing method here and I did have an embroidery frame that I worked on um, at the beginning when I when I started my first um, cross stitch pattern printed um, I did try in hand first, and uh, I thought that was a little awkward. That was the first time that I had tried it. And so I looked on um, Amazon and looked for a, an embroidery um, stand. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll give it a try. I'll buy one of those and see how it works. And it seemed to work okay at the beginning. I was... I thought I was going to really like it and keep doing it that way. However, um, I decided to try uh, the uh, sewing method again and compared it to using the frame. And I thought, well, you know, I, I'm really slow. I'm a slow stitcher to begin with. Um, but on the um, using the stand, I was stitching a lot slower than I was stitching in hand using the sewing method. So I decided to just put the frame aside and and do it this way. And, uh, and I think I like it this way a lot better. So that's what I will continue to do for now. Um, had this been a larger um, fabric, then I may think differently because um, you're having to roll a lot more fabric in your hand. And I can see where these uh, frames definitely would come in handy and uh, can work well for a lot of people. So I'm not saying that I will never uh, work with a frame again. I might. But for now, with this project, um, I'm comfortable doing it this way. So I'll continue. How is everyone doing today? What are you guys stitching on? Are you stitching, stitching on something new or something you've been stitching on for a while? Let me know in the comments section. I'd like to know. We're uh, finally getting a break from the rain here in Northern California. It uh, had hailed a few days ago. And, um, well, it was um, the day before yesterday. It hailed. And it doesn't hail here very often, let me tell you. It's um, very few incidences where we've had hail but um yeah it was um 
is a sight to see. I'm glad I was inside and not outside. There's, um, there are spring flowers growing, popping up everywhere. And I think that is so beautiful. So I sometimes like to stitch um, just using half stitches to begin with. So I go down the line and do just half stitch and then I will go back up and complete make the other half stitch over and complete them that way sometimes I do the single uh, crisscross just depends on how I'm feeling and when the uh, threads don't lay flat I uh, take my needle underneath it and um, and lift it up and kind of move my needle underneath or move it up and down to to manipulate the threads and try and get them to to lay uh, beside each other flat and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't sometimes I end up having to to take the thread out just unstitch it and then stitch it again and, uh, and usually that does work. So I had a few errands to do today. And, uh, and I had some errands to do yesterday as well. But yesterday I, uh, I passed, I was near, I didn't pass by, but I was near, near enough that I could could have made a right turn and gone over to um, Joanne's uh, fabric craft store. And had I done that, uh, I, that's like an hour and a half. That's what I would need because usually I don't leave the store um, sooner than that <laughs> because there's just so much to, to look at. Not only am, am I looking for things regarding my hobbies, um, but I'm also stopping to look at the silk flowers and all the um, decorations, whether it be St. Patrick's, they've got some stuff out for St. Patrick's, they've got Easter decoration out, and yeah, that, um, I'm like a kid in a candy store, seriously, <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, it's hard to leave, you know, because there's just so much to see, so much to shop for, and um, gosh, want to get everything, but I can't. Don't have enough room to store everything in my home, but I do like to shop for decorations for the uh, holidays or whatever's next on the calendar. I don't buy much for St. Patrick's Day, actually. Um, come to think of it, I might have, um, I have a few, um, let's see, a few plastic canvas items that I made for St. Patrick's Day. And uh, that's about it. Oh, and I also have some green doilies that I made. And, uh, and that can be displayed for St. Patrick's. So what is everyone doing for vacation? Any vacation plans? Spring is almost here. And then it'll be summer before you know it. So I've been thinking on vacation plans for myself and a friend of mine and I we had gone to South Lake Tahoe last year it was uh, in June I believe and uh, we had a great time there we stayed there for probably I think about four days 
if I'm not mistaken. And we hiked, we went to see the waterfalls, um, we shopped, we had a lot of fun. One thing, though, was that, um, that we wanted to do that we couldn't do was use a hotel pool. It was closed for maintenance. So we weren't um, there at the right time for that, but that's okay. Maybe this time it'll, uh, it'll be open for us. I'm using the back of the needle here because um, sometimes it, uh, if you, you can disturb the, um, the thread when you're coming up a hole that already is occupied and, uh, and you can just disturb that thread right at the end and so I go in with the back of my needle and I push it through a little bit and uh, until it straightens out. And that, that works. So that's what I was doing there. So I talked about my errands and how I was um, how I was wanting so badly to stop in at Joanne's, but I didn't because I didn't have enough time. Had to go home and make dinner, and I made some sausage with um, cabbage, and I've made this recipe before, and uh, I always underestimate the cabbage, the amount of cabbage that I want that for the for the recipe, for the amount of sausage that I have in it in it. I just uh, need to remember to to put more of the cabbage in the dish. And this time I did. I added like about one and a half heads of cabbage. I mean, they were small head, a uh, small head of cabbage. So one and a half, and I think um, that was perfect because um, I have leftovers now, and I love having leftovers. That means a day that I don't have to cook. So how could you not like leftovers? Definitely. I do try to uh, to make more servings when uh, when I make a recipe. I double the recipe, or I even triple the recipe. Sometimes I'll have leftovers. Sometimes I'll have too much leftovers. Then I'll uh, I usually just put it in a, a dish and I freeze it, and that that makes a dinner made and uh, a day of more stitching that I don't have to cook, which makes me happy. I uh, apologize for my unmanicured fingernails. I've thought about um, getting them polished and having them look nice but I honestly am just lazy when it comes to caring for my nails. I used to have uh, sculpted um, fake nails. <laughs> the, um, oh, what do you call them? Acrylic nails. That's what I used to have. And um, that just, uh, it was just a pain to have to go into the salon every three weeks or so to get it filled. And um, I liked the way it looked. And, uh, and I liked, you know, the French manicure look. And, uh, and sometimes I liked to just have it polished red or burgundy, which is, burgundy is my favorite color. So I used to have uh, my nails painted with the burgundy color. 
a lot. But I just got tired of um, of spending that time at the salon having my nails done. And so I just don't do it anymore. I do it on occasion. And uh, I have also tried the... Um, I forgot what they're called. Well, never mind. I forgot what they're called. But they're... Um, they're the t- the glue ones. You you put glue underneath the nail, and uh, but I just don't like the way those feel. So that's like a temporary solution. <laughs> so I don't use those that often. I've wanted to grow out my nails, uh, my own nails, so that um, I can. Uh, polish them whenever I want but I have a f- one or two nails at two let's see I have about my pinky nails they grow crooked and so does one of my finger my uh, not my ring finger my pointer finger it grows crooked so and no amount of filing can straighten it out it just looks bad. So, um, yeah, that's why I don't grow them. And plus the fact that I also like to garden. So <laughs> in the spring and summer time, my nails just look horrible. But I will try next time and, and get them polished. Can't, I'm not going to promise, <laughs> but... I'll think about it, and that way it'll look nicer for uh, close-up videos. If you guys don't mind unpolished nails, I will. S- that would be great. <laughs> I'll get more videos out that way, because if I have to polish them every time I make a video, um, that's I'll probably only publish one or two videos that at that rate. Anyway, so the trees are blooming, a sign of spring. I really cannot wait until spring gets here because um, this rain and this cold, cold mornings are uh, are just not uh, not what I like. So I'm starting to um, get into the, uh, what do they call, uh, the confetti part of the uh, stitching. So that means... Um, the color squares are now intermingled with other colors. So I'm having to jump from one square to the other. I like working on blocks of color. That is the most fun. Uh, Jumping around is not it's the least thing I like to do as far as cross stitching goes is jumping from one area to another so I don't know how do you guys feel do you guys like to do the popcorn not the popcorn the confetti (laughs) the confetti do you like projects that are heavily confettied um I do not. Like I said, I like working on blocks of color. Uh, That's the most um, desirable for me. But when you like a designer's um, design, and sometimes you just have to do the confetti, then there's no way way around that. But... um, yeah.
I am working on another owl, but it is not a stamped one. It is a counted cross stitch. And um, I starting in the middle, and I've got a few um, a few stitches in. A good amount, I'd say, for for a start. And uh, th that one is is hard, much harder. It's a uh, a medium size. I forgot what the exact dimensions are, but um, it is, uh, it's about as big as this one, but it is counted. So it is a little more challenging, but that's okay. I will take the challenge because um, that's how I'm going to learn. I am trying to straighten out the threads here, make it lay flat, that looks okay. I think I've been stitching for at least 30 minutes, has it been 30 minutes? Well, I think I need to uh, wrap it up here. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video to the end. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for um, stitching with me and listening to my chatter. I, I do, do appreciate it. Thanks so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.